So here I just want to talk about the fact that there are really two generally different ways that we can provide our air-fuel mixture to an internal combustion engine. Uh, one would be using a carburetor and one would be using a fuel injection system. So here I just want to show the carburetor. A carburetor is an entirely mechanical device. Um, the air is going to come in through a butterfly valve and that butterfly valve is actually attached to the throttle. So when you, you know, put your pedal to the metal, if you will, that's going to open up the butterfly valve and that's going to increase the flow of air through the system. Now, what we don't see on the inside of the carburetor are a series of channels, um, and that's actually going to provide suction to the fuel supply. So our fuel supply is going to come in through here, and as the air gets drawn through the carburetor into the engine, it's going to draw in fuel. Um, it's basically a mechanical control system, so you know the air-fuel mixture is set appropriately. Um, you can even make some adjustments. Um, there's various screws on carburetors so that we can make different adjustments to the system. Uh, but nonetheless, this is typical of many engines. Now, modern engines tend to be fuel injected, um, but small engines are not, right? If we have just a, a, a weed whacker, a lawnmower, um, you know, anything like that, uh, those are typically going to have carburetors. You know, you don't want to have to mess with electronic components and fuel injection pumps and all that on the little engine where you're really concerned about size and weight and all of that. So let's go look outside now at just one of the fuel injection systems on one of our engines. So now we're going to look at a fuel injection system, again, very much different than a carbureted system. Um, first, I would note that here's our fuel tank. Um, this, by the way, is a diesel engine. Um, we've got our fuel tank, and the fuel comes off the fuel tank through this pipe, or really hose here. It goes to a filter, um, goes through another filter, and eventually goes in here through the fuel injection pump. Um, note that there are different types of fuel injection systems. This is just one. But nonetheless, we're now going to pump the fuel under high pressure through each of these lines. And these lines are going to now inject right into the engine cylinders. Now, as this is a diesel engine, um, the air which comes in through here is actually going to be introduced first into the cylinders. Um, the air is going to be compressed. And then you're going to introduce the fuel, which is going to auto-ignite at the high temperature of the compressed air. But it is a fundamentally different type of system. Um, I would also note that unburned fuel can actually come back through this line, get refiltered, and then just go right back into the fuel tank. So that's not uncommon on diesel engines. In fact, on many diesel engines, if you're trying to measure the fuel flow, you have to measure it twice. You have to measure the flow of the fuel that comes out of the tank and then subtract the flow of the fuel that goes back into the tank, and that's going to give you the true flow rate of the fuel for this particular type of engine. But nonetheless, um, at least we can see that there's a whole lot more complexity associated with a typical fuel injection system than a carburetor system, but they do tend to be more efficient these days, and you're going to find fuel injection on you know, almost all vehicles nowadays.